I'm Sally Riggs. I'm Jorn Bachman. And I'm Jesse Ehrenberg. Uh, two of these burglars came into my apartment and things happened. on the sofa. It's okay, the sofa won't bite. Do me a favor. Take the stupid mask off your face so I can look at you. What is this, the 70s? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Coffee, anyone? A buddy of mine gets it for me from Cuba. And I must say, that coffee beans, the coffee beans over there are very impeccable. Such a smooth taste. Would you gentlemen want to have a cup of Cuba? No, thanks. Don't be rude. Introduce yourself first before answering me. This way, I know the proper way to address you. Toby. No coffee, Toby? No, thank you. What's your name? My name? Excuse me. Freda Ferrara? Stupid name, sir. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you, Jackie boy. Coffee? Sure. Toby, it's all right. These things happen. Breaking in and entering, it's a tricky business. Jesus! Oh, God! Yes, yes, I know. Was it your brother? Friend. Yeah. It's okay. Want a cup? Want a cup of coffee? No, thank you. No, no coffee, thanks. No coffee. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so, what were you boys doing in here? Money. You came to this dump for money? <laughs> Surely you boys could have stepped up the real estate. <laughs> there are plenty of neighborhoods just 20 miles east from where we are. That was a mistake. I'm afraid. Stop looking at him. He's dead. Looking at him isn't going to bring him back. Take that throw over there and put it over him. It will help you some. Go ahead. been a good judge of character, Jackie. Jackie boy had an attitude straight away, and I can't go in for that sort of thing, you know. Now where I come from, you are much more polite and well-mannered. It goes a very long way with me. Smoke? No, no, thank you, sir. Don't be over polite, because I don't like that shit either. Take a cigarette and calm your nerves. You actually did come to the right place. He didn't, but you did. You looking for work? No, that's okay. Then get the fuck out of here! See. <laughs> Is that your game to make me feel bad? What do you mean? You're sad. A bitter, miserable human being. What? You know what I'm talking about. What's your deal? Okay, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? The way you needle me. Needle you? Yeah, needle me. Like, you get off on jabbing at me. Okay, Sammy, I really have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. At least have some balls and integrity to own up to it like a man. Say that you're a dick. Fuck you. No, fuck you, dick! If I lose my temper, it's game over. You win. I'm not gonna lose my temper. There's no way that I'll have you win. I just want to inform you that I see right through your game. Yeah. 
I thought you were my friend. All the while, you were just doing this to keep an eye on me for your benefit. You know, just because your name is on the line. Okay, well, I'm certainly not going to just expect the work we do to be shit. Oh, you're saying I would? Sam, you've been known to get lazy from time to time. Lazy my ass! I put my heart and soul into the work we do. I never sit around playing with my balls all day the way that you do. You're the one that's lazy, gets nothing done with your life. I do all the work, and you just ride my wave. Okay, maybe you should leave because this is going in a bad direction. Kiss my ass and be honest with me. Stop talking behind my back. Like, I don't know. Like, I can only imagine what you say about me. All I've ever been to you is a good friend. You're a poser. You pose and fake, you great big phony liar. That's enough. Liar. Get the fuck out of my house. Make me. Okay. You know what? Well, then I'm just gonna call the police. I won't leave until you uh, own up to your bullshit like a man. Call the cops. Call them and watch what I do. See? I'm sorry, I didn't know what. Harry, let me ask you something. Why do you keep sniffing your fingers? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a habit. A habit? Yeah. A habit from what? What are you actually sniffing? I don't know. It's, it's a habit. Yeah, but to actually start the habit, there had to be an original reason. And you had to do this multiple times. Why multiple times? Because that's what makes it a habit, Harry. Oh. So? What? What started the habit? I don't know. I don't remember. Come on, man. What is on your fingers that you keep sniffing? Nothing. It's just a habit. But what are you actually smelling when you sniff? Nothing. There is no scent. No scent? You're telling me you keep sniffing your fingers and there's no scent? <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't believe you. Why don't you believe me? Because for someone to sniff something, especially their fingertips, there has to actually be something you're smelling. Why do you care so much? Why? I'll tell you why, Harry. We're cooped up in this room together, I don't know, for the past five days, waiting for this package to arrive with instructions. Are we not? Yeah. Within this time span, I've seen you sniff your fingers constantly. So? Well, if I started smacking the back of my neck randomly the past five days, wouldn't that seem a little bit odd to you? Not really, no. Is it ass? <laughs> ass? On your fingers. Is it ass? Ass? What, what ass? Your ass! Are you sniffing your own uh, ass on your fingers? After you do a little scratchy scratch or, uh, or what? Just tell me because we ate sandwiches today, and you had your hands all over the meat, and I forgot Man. all about it. Oh, you sniffing your fingers until just now, because you're obviously sniffing them again, and I'm feeling really sick, and I need to know. Oh my god, if I ate your ass. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really gross. Damn it, Harry! Can you just tell me? I'm serious. I wouldn't scratch my ass and rub it in someone else's sandwich. Ben, especially my own. Then what are you sniffing? I, I scratch my ball bag on occasion, but that's about it, okay? What did you just say? My, my ball bag, my testicle sac, my, <coughs> my man balls. Sometimes I scratch my man balls, but that, that's about it. Not my ass or anything like that. No, 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 wait, wait. Because maybe I'm a little crazy in the head, but you said you scratch your man balls, yeah, right? Yeah, all guys do. Yeah. But is that what you're sniffing? Actually, holy shit, now that you said it, <laughs> all this time, yeah, never occurred to me. Oh. oh. 
I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm kidding. Relax. I would never do something like that. Calm down. You sure? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Relax. It's a joke. Okay? But why do you sniff? <laughs> I don't know. But why does the sun come up in the sky? Because the earth is rotating. <laughs> yeah, but we don't know enough to know why there's a sun rotating. Or an earth, or, or anything, really. So why should I know why I sniff my fingers? That shit bothers me. It really does. Well, what can I tell you? Fucking mystery is what it is. Exactly. As they say, maybe we're better off not knowing, right? How so? Well, sometimes when we learn about something, like the secret behind a magician's trick, it loses its magic for us and we get depressed. Maybe me sniffing my fingers is a mystery we're better off not knowing about. You're crazy. You know that, right? I guess so. See. An actor. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. You're not gonna throw up. You're gonna be okay. Oh, um, actually, I think I actually think I'm gonna throw up. You're not gonna throw up. You're fine. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. No, come on. Look at me. Come on. Open your eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. What kind of cancer is it? It's cancer. Well, what's the name of the cancer? It's some rare kind of cancer. Doesn't it have a name? Schwannoma. I, I, I know this. It's... It's... Schwannoma. Schwannoma. Yeah. Schwannoma. What's... What's schwannoma? It, it means tumor, basically. Oh, do you have a... Do you have a picture of it? Can I see it? Why would I have a picture of it? I I don't know. It's fucking normal to, you know, take pictures of shit these days. I don't know. It, it, it's a picture of nothing. It, it's a lump. It, it's it's nothing. Well, you're going to be okay. Well, I think so. What are your odds? What are your chances? And I looked it up, and it was something like 50-50. 50-50? That's the internet, so... That's good. That's better than I thought. How, you're going to be fine, man. You're going to be fine. Uh, you're young. Young people survive cancer all the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, celebrities, they keep getting fan cancer. Like um, Lance Armstrong, he keeps getting it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's fine. Yeah. And um, that guy from Dexter, he's fine. Yeah, right. right. Patrick Swayze, he's fine. Patrick and he's, Swayze? And he's older. Dude, that guy is dead. Oh, you know what? Don't worry about that. That's fine. Don't don't even think about it. Um, you're going to be fine. Um, but uh, what's? Yeah, don't just fine. just think. Look at the bright side of this, okay? The, the bright side of what? Yeah, like you're going to be fine. Hey, right. You know, that's all you have to. Is it your family? What does your family say about this? I mean. Oh god, your mother. She 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 can't handle this well, right? No, I no, I'm not gonna tell her. You're not gonna you have to tell her. I mean, she'll probably deal with it better than anybody. Your dad has Dude. Alzheimer's. Dude. Like she's used to dealing with tragedies. You know how right? my mom is though. Like she'll fucking lose her well, mind. You obviously have to tell her. No, I'm gonna tell you're her. You're gonna be but... fine. Yeah. Fine. Like you're gonna be fine. Hey. Fifty fifty? Yeah. If you were at the casino. Man, you would have the best odds, right? Yeah, thanks. See, 